Hello everyone. Guys, today in this video we are going to discuss two very important terms of computer networking. Very important for network engineer interview to crack network engineer interview. Very important to understand computer networking like to design a network, to implement a network, to troubleshoot a network. These two terms are very important. Even if two computers want to communicate with each other, both have to perform these two tasks. And guys, these terms are encapsulation and decapsulation. First one is encapsulation, second one is decapsulation. So today in this video, we are going to understand encapsulation and decapsulation with real time example right how we are using it in the production network how machines are performing encapsulation and decapsulation guys first of all let me make you understand the meaning of encapsulation what do you mean by encapsulation encapsulation means encapsulating something like you can see i have this bottle right and guys inside the bottle there is water right so what we can say water is encapsulated in bottle water is encapsulated in bottle let's say if you want to send a letter to your friend so you cannot send letter directly to your friend right first of all you have to attach address with the letter so what you will do you will put the letter in the envelope you will purchase one envelope you will put letter in that envelope so putting letter in the envelope is what encapsulation right like this there are some paper inside this so these papers are encapsulated in this bag these papers or let's say i am putting one pin over here what i am doing actually i am encapsulating this pin with this bag right i am encapsulating this pin in the bag in the same way whenever a computer want to send a data to another computer a sender machine want to send data to a receiver machine sender machine have to perform encapsulation right like if you want to send letter to your friend so you have to encapsulate the letter in envelope but when your friend is going to receive it when your friend will receive the letter your friend will decapsulate it it will remove the envelope it will pick the letter envelope is not important information this is just the extra information right just extra information so why encapsulation is needed to add address right like if you want to send a letter to your friend why you are putting it in, in, in envelope so that you can attach source at this decision address extra information to add extra information right and guys in the same way if i have two computer computer a computer b if computer a want to send some data to computer b computer a cannot send it directly to computer b right let's suppose on computer a you have one book ccna book and you want to send this book to computer b or you want to send it to your friend through whatsapp same process will happen in all scenario whenever two devices will communicate with each other so computer A want to send one file to computer B. So file is already there on computer A. But computer A cannot forward that file directly to computer B. First of all, computer A have to add address with that data. Otherwise, how computer A can send to computer B? To send the data to a receiver machine, we have to identify the address, right? What is the address of destination machine? IP address, destination MAC address, right? Source IP, destination IP. So before sending actual data, your machine is going to add addresses. And these addresses are extra information. When receiver machine will receive it, it will remove that extra information. Because receiver machine need only actual information, that book, right? On computer A, I have one book, CCNA book. I want to send it to computer B. So on computer B, I only need what? Book. I don't need those extra information. So computer B will remove those extra information. Why it's needed? Because without address, I cannot send data to any machine. So two machines can communicate with each other with the help of address. 
so these are basic requirement of communication if you will ask to me what are the basic requirements of communication through network so guys first requirement is source mac second destination mac third mac third requirement source ip fourth ip fourth uh, is destination ip these are four 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 requirements for basic communication right a machine should have these all information source mac destination mac source ip destination ip then only a sender machine can send data right and adding this extra information with actual information is known as encapsulation so what is encapsulation process of adding extra information with actual data is known as encapsulation so if interview to ask you what is encapsulation so guys encapsulation means adding extra information with actual data so you can say process of adding extra information with actual data is known as encapsulation then what is decapsulation again process of removing those extra information is known as decapsulation process of removing extra information from the data is known as decapsulation now how machines are going to perform encapsulation so guys on your machine by default multiple protocols are running by default multiple protocols are running those protocols are responsible to perform encapsulation and decapsulation remember osi model we have seven layer right in osi model at each layer we have a specific task like i want to access google server web page of google server so i will tap www.google.com in the browser now here at application layer https protocol will work and https protocol is going to generate data actual information and now lower layers are responsible to add extra information with this actual data right so at transport layer you have two protocol tcp and udp which are responsible to add source port destination port source port destination port so at transport layer which protocol can perform encapsulation either tcp or either udp at network layer again we have multiple protocols like ipv4 ipv6 apple top so these protocols are responsible to encapsulate data at layer 3 at layer 3 encapsulating data means it will add source at source ip and destination ip then at layer 2 again at layer 2 we have multiple protocols like arpa protocol is responsible to add source mac destination mac so arpa protocol is going to encapsulate data at layer 2 right and now guys how these protocols are going to add these extra information with the help of header right so see your letter is the actual information and envelope is header envelope is just a header in the same way tcp protocol have their own header udp protocol have their own header so at transport layer if my protocol is tcp then tcp protocol is going to add their own header and tcp header carries multiple information not only source source port destination port many more informations are there right so you can check tcp header on the google like there will be sequence number acknowledgement number flags urgent urgent flag lots of flags are there then header length many fields are there in the same way in udp header also we have multiple fields multiple information at network layer ip in the ip header also we have multiple informations along with source ip and destination ip source ip destination ip just one example encapsulation means not adding source ip destination ip encapsulation means adding extra information with actual data right so guys in the production network if there are two router right router one router two if these two router want to communicate with each other how they will communicate see router works at layer 3 so routers are going to generate traffic at layer 3 so let's say at layer 3 we have one data traffic 
that is let's say ospf hello message ospf hello message is one kind of data so at layer 3 ip protocol is going to encapsulate ospf actual information right so with the with actual data with ospf hello message ip protocol is going to add ip header and this header is going to carry multiple information so now we have data actual information that is ospf hello message and i have ip header right and this entire thing actual data plus ip header is known as by packet so packet means data plus ip header then network layer is going to hand over it to lower layer means to lower layer to data link layer at data link layer as i told you arpa protocol is responsible to encapsulate at layer 2 so arpa protocol is going to add their own header with packet so layer 2 at layer 2 layer 2 have received packet from upper layer from the network layer in the packet there is ip header plus actual data now data link layer is going to add data link layer header right source map destination map ethernet header ethernet header will again have multiple informations along with source map destination map so layer 2 is going to add source ethernet layer header ethernet header right with the packet so now guys packet plus ethernet header is called as frame so frame means packet plus ethernet header right ethernet header carry source mac destination mac type field is there preamble field is there right multiple informations are there inside the header so a frame means ethernet header plus packet packet means ip header plus actual data so now guys data link layer is going to hand over it to lower layer to physical layer now physical layer will convert it into bits and then it will forward to router number two right again when router two will receive it router two will receive it at layer one physical layer it will convert bits into frame and it will hand over to data link layer at data link layer again receiver machine is going to remove ethernet header remove ethernet header means it will remove ethernet header it will pick the packet and then it will hand over packet to upper layer to network layer and network layer at network layer which protocol is responsible for encapsulation and decapsulation ip so ip protocol is going to remove ip header and it will pick ospf actual message and then it will hand over to ospf protocol getting my point so at receiver machine Receiver machine is performing decapsulation. Sender machine is performing encapsulation. De encapsulation, decapsulation, right? When router two will send data to router one, router two will perform encapsulation. Router two will perform decapsulation. So, encapsulation means adding extra information with actual data. Decapsulation means removing that extra information with actual data, right? And guys, without IP header or Ethernet header or you can say network layer header or data link layer header without these two header you cannot send data router 1 cannot send data to router 2 without network layer header and data link layer header if data is at application layer then data should have transport layer header also right so application layer data will be encapsulated at layer 4, layer 3, layer 2. Network layer data will be encapsulated at layer 3, layer 2, right? And layer 2 data is going to be encapsulated at layer 2 only. So hope encapsulation and decapsulation, these two terms are clear to you. If yes, then guys, please hit on like button. If you have not subscribed this channel, if you are new on the channel, please subscribe this channel. We'll meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye. That's all for today.